What is up, guys? We are back today for another live in the UU tier. This time, like I said, I want to avoid OU as much as possible right now. So I stole Chimp's team. Chimp, shout out to you, man. Thanks for the team. Awesome team. Really good. Mega Arrow. We've got a Swords Dance. Poisonium Z. I think that's how you say it. Is it Poisonium? Uh, Poisonium. <laughs> there we go. Poisonium Z uh, with Gung Shot. Really nice for taking out fairies like uh, Primarina and stuff. Grass types as well. Um, stuff like that. And uh, Banded Scizor, Healing Wish, Life War, Bladios, and uh, we have your standard hip out on here. Very, very standard set. Uh, I almost want to give it more spit F because I find it having difficulty dealing with uh, water types in general. Uh, whereas normally it should be able to take a hit, sometimes it can't. Especially from things like Scarf Keldeo. Uh, I already played this man a little bit earlier actually, uh, and uh, did pretty well. I think I beat him. He has a... Uh, I think it's a... An off no, this one is the offensive Ludicolo. Somebody was using a sub-seed rain dish uh, Ludicolo against me, and I was like, this is not effective. What the heck? Scizor destroys it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to want to lead off here probably with uh, Scizor, as it uh, deals with the majority of his team pretty well. He does lead off with the Rotom, uh, so that's not very good for me. Uh, I'm going to go straight out into Latias, actually. Because I don't want to take a Will-O-Wisp, and I know this thing is packing it. Uh, but it's not Leftovers, which I find kind of strange. He does go for the Will-O-Wisp, which is fine. I'm assuming he's either going to go into P2 here, or uh, straight into Politoed is also an option. I'm just going to drop a Draco, just to see the uh, the kind of damage on the, uh, on the P2. I'm going to start a timer as well, and uh, we'll work from there. Having Latias burned isn't too big of a deal with only taking off 6% a turn. He's going to go out into his Azelf, actually, uh, and let it die. It's not even Focus Sash. That's awesome. So that's dead. I guess he thought I would go for a Psychic there, but no, that was not the plan. <laughs> it was not to go for a Psychic, so that's pretty good for us. He is now going to bring in his Politoed. A little bit of a threat. Uh, I am just going to drop another Draco right here, try to get off as much damage as possible in this Politoed, 32%, not too bad, going to take another Life Orb round. He's going to go for an Encore, I uh, could have easily switched out there, so I don't fully understand that. I am now going to go into Primarina because his switch-ins to Moonblast are looking very limited. Uh, Rotom's not bad, P2 is also pretty decent, but other than that, he is going to die. Uh, he does double into Delmize though, so that's not great. I'm going to go out into Scizor here as uh, Scizor is going to take an Anchor Shot, but I'm not staying in with Scizor. Obviously, I'm going for a U-turn here. It's going to do a lot of damage to anything. I think it does about 40% to Rotom uh, from our last game, so that should be fine, and I can just bring back in my Latias, so if he wants to stay in here, that's also not too bad for me. Uh, I could probably just go out into Pangoro and knock something off, which isn't bad at all, so this is nice. Let's see what his play is. He can't switch out into Ludicolo. I'm keeping out Ludicolo pretty well, so that's nice. Uh, I really thought he might double into Ludicolo when he made that play with Politoed, but uh, instead he went out to Delmize, so that's fine. Let's see what he wants to do here. It's taking quite a while. Just take a nice sip of water, you know. Always stay hydrated. Might have to go get another bottle between games because I'm running out here. Yes, I do drink uh, water bottles. Not very environmentally friendly, unfortunately, with these. Uh, they are plastic, so I might want to get a metallic bottle at some point. That might be a good investment. So he's going to take 59% from that U-turn. Uh, I doubt he's going for a grass move right here, so I kind of want to go out into Hippowdon uh, just to scout what he's going to do. And he is going to go for the Earthquake, so that's great for us. We are going to gain some leftovers recovery. He's going to lose some health because of that, um, because of the sand. And we are just going to get up our rocks. We are faster than his Delmize. He's going to go for an Anchor Shot to keep us in here. That's fine as well. Uh, I'm just actually going to try to slack off here and see what else he's got. Uh, he does have the power-up, so that's going to do a lot to us. Uh, and I didn't really want to lose this, so this wasn't the best play. Uh, how much did that do? 83? Okay, so I'm forced to Earthquake right here. It is going to leave him at 3, uh, and he is going to power up again. That means our rocks stay up, though, so that's pretty good. Uh, as now I'm figuring he's going to go out into his Politoed. So what I'm actually going to do is go out into my Pangoro and knock something off. Uh, Politoed might not die to this, but it'll leave it in range of rocks if he keeps it in, so that's great. As uh, he's actually going to switch out into his Rotom and let that go down. That's awesome. Uh, that's not going to go down, but it's going to take a lot. He's actually choiced. Okay, I didn't think he was choiced with Will-O-Wisp, honestly. That was kind of strange to me. But his Rotom is now dead. And what we can do is now go out into Latias. I need to find a way to stall out the rain, though. And this is going to be difficult. Uh, very, very difficult. Because that, uh, <laughs> that Ludicola is looking like a threat. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Psychic right here. We are going to take a total of 16% from Life Orb and Burn, but that's okay. We are going to knock out the Rotom right there, as he's probably going to go out into his Ludicolo. Yep, 
And now what we'll do is we will switch out into Primarina on his Ice Beam. He can't go for anything else. So, I mean, he could go for a Hydro Pump, but um, one, I'm not 100% sure that would knock me out from here, even in the rain. And two, uh, I want to kind of stall out his rain right now. I don't even, I didn't even count his rain turns initially. Uh, started to rain on this turn. Did it ever stop before I brought in Hippo? No, I didn't get to see what he was. So that's not great. Uh, now I need to run a little calc. Uh, move this over for you guys so you can actually see what's going on. And uh, we're going to go to Ludicolo. Uh, and you... Uh, are you Swift Swim Sweeper? Uh, max Special Attack. Life Orb versus Pangoro. And I want to see it in the rain. Um, Hydro Pump does kill, but he has to land it. So that's good. Uh, and without the rain up, does he kill us? No, he does not. It only does 94%. So that would be the ideal time to bring in Pangoro is when this thing uh, is no longer in the rain because we will get a knockout. And I'm um, switching into Primarina right here. Again, he's taking his sweet time <laughs> making his play. But uh, it's fine. If he goes for Giga Drain, then he goes for Giga Drain. There's nothing I can do about it. But uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't advise going for Giga Drain in front of a lot of us. <laughs> like that, well, that's not going to kill me, first of all. I'll, sh I'll show you guys. Latias, um, offensive, no, sorry, Latias, uh, where is it, offensive defog, uh, Giga Drain doesn't do enough, Hydro Pump doesn't even do enough in the rain, it does 43% max, so he could knock me out, yeah, it's a roll, um, Giga Drain does not do enough, he needs to go for Ice Beam right here, so I can uh, play around that a little bit, and then if I go into Primarina, he's going to be tempted to go for a Giga Drain, He's actually taking a lot more time than usual. Uh, we're down to 40 seconds. He might just leave, which would be awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to that. Uh, let's see what he does here. He does go for the Ice Beam, so that's not going to do too much to Primarina. He's going to take a Life Orb hit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pivot out into my... I kind of want to go into Scizor, realistically. Um, he's going to gain too much health back from that. Or is he? No, it's four times resisted. We'll go into Scizor. Uh, as he goes for Giga Drain, so that's awesome. And uh, he takes a little bit more Life Orb. He's about to, back to where he was. Okay, so we do still have three more turns of Rain. I'm going to go on to Primarina now on his Hydro Pump. That's not going to do enough to Primarina. He's going to be forced to Giga Drain again. Let's see if he over predicts. And I'm going to go for Moonblast. No, he just goes for Giga Drain, so good play. All right, so now I'm going to uh, basically go into Aerodactyl here, I think. Or I might want to go into Scizor, actually, because Scizor doesn't do much else. I might just want to bullet punch and hope he, hope that he misses. You know what? I'm actually going to play off of the miss. And we're going to go into Scizor and just U-turn. Let's see what happens. He does connect his Hydro Pump. But now we're going to go out into Pangoro. And we are going to click Knock Off. And we're going to catch the Politoed on the switch. Uh, this may or may not kill. Probably will. Uh, nope. Not enough. Uh, but we are we should be faster than this. So I'm just going to go for another Knock here. Knock out his Politoed. He's forced to go into Ludicolo. Regardless, I need to play off of a Hydro Pump miss. So, we are just going to stay in. Uh, he actually chooses to go down to P2, actually. Which is interesting, because he's going to kill off his own rain as a result. Uh, I'm going to go for a Swords Dance, I believe. Right here. Because I don't want to damage him. Yeah, we're going to go for SD. And uh, he's going to go for an Ice Beam. That's not going to do enough. And now we're going to go for a Drain Punch. We're going to go back up to full, as we knock out the P2. And uh, Ludicolo is going to come in. But again, it has to uh, connect... Two Hydro Pumps, at least, because I don't think Ice Beam takes out Aerodactyl, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go for the Drain Punch. He does connect the first Hydro Pump, so good for him. Uh, we will go out into... We have to go into Arrow anyway, so we'll go into Arrow, and we will click Wing Attack and try to knock this thing out. Hopefully he misses. If he doesn't, then that's GG, and that's a first loss. This team has a little bit of trouble with Rain, uh, especially if you don't keep your hip out on healthy, which I didn't uh, because I left it in on Delmise. So don't do that, kids. Do not leave your hippo in on Delmise. <laughs> It'll be the end of you. If I would have kept hippo alive, this game would have already been over like a long time ago, actually. You wouldn't be sitting through this. Um, Ice Beam shouldn't knock me out. He shouldn't be tempted to go for Ice Beam because then he's going to lose his Lodi Ludicolo. So let's see. Arrow. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Aerodactyl, Mega Arrow. Uh, Ice Beam doesn't do enough. It does 89 max. So he has to connect the Hydro Pump. Another one. He goes for Scald. Okay, so he's got four attacks. Okay, that's that's GG. Alright, good job. He got me. There's the Ice Beam. And uh, let's move on to the next game. So he had four attacks. Huh. 
Um, well, this set doesn't show you the last attack. I don't know what it would be, but Scald does make sense if you don't want to miss Hydro. Um, I probably should have switched out into Latias on his Hydro Pump and played off of PP, I guess, maybe? I don't know, because Scald probably wouldn't have taken out Pangoro, right? Pangoro, all-out attacker. Let's put Scald on this. Um, Scald in the rain, Life Orb. It's a roll. All right, so I guess it didn't make that much of a difference. All right, so um, we've got a much more manageable team. We don't have rain this time, but uh, Gardevoir kind of, kind of scares me a little bit, definitely because we've got uh, Latias and Pangoro, which do not appreciate that thing at all. Uh, what I'm going to do here is lead off with... Uh, I'm going to lead off with Arrow, I think? No, uh, because that thing is very physically bulky. I'm going to lead off with Latias. As he chooses to lead off with Volcanion. Fantastic. Okay, so he's going to be forced to switch here. Uh, I'm just going to go for Draco Meteor. If he wants to switch in Gardevoir, that's fine. Uh, I'll scout to see what it is as a result. So we'll uh, we'll work from there. He does go into Guard. He's going to chase my Levitate. And he's probably going to go for a Moonblast. Uh, so that's going to give me a decent switch into Scizor here. And going to give us a U-turn. He might actually double back into uh, Volcanion here, which is kind of my fear. Uh, I don't know how good this guy is. Let's actually check rank what's his name hail sithis sithis uh so he does play a lot um his records are okay uu beta he's 15 and 8 okay um i'm just gonna go sis i'm not taking a risk as he's gonna go for the moon blast fantastic okay but that did way too much uh, he's going to be fearing the bullet punch, I believe, though. That looks like specs, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's specs. Uh, we can calc it, but... Gardevoir, choice specs versus Scizor. Uh, choice band. Yeah, that's the only way that would have done that much. And he's also modest, by the way. Uh, which means that he doesn't outspeed any of my team, which is nice. And he actually got a max roll on that, so I'm pretty free to U-turn here. I don't know if we're like, a negative special defense nature. I don't know why we would be, but that has to be specs. There's, there's no other calc that makes sense there's nothing on here that would affect that yeah he got an absolute max roll as well 51.2 hmm what wait what why is this scissor run max hp okay so maybe he's not modest maybe he is timid yeah he's still timid specs like there's no other way he would have done that much but it is a roll in his favor to knock me out uh he does seem to have left <laughs> so let's uh mod join sync and uh, hopefully he can't get back. <laughs> let's let's cross our fingers for that. But um, yeah, so maybe Scizor wasn't the best play. But I didn't have a counterplay to a Specs Guard of War. There's like, look how much a Powdown takes. It's uh, it's actually kind of scary. <laughs> this thing can do uh, devastating things to my team. And it sucks I don't have Psy Shock. I have Psychic instead. But um, I mean, Arrow can knock it out probably with a Stone Edge uh, after one Rock switch in. So, priority is going to be to get up rocks for sure if he does come back, which it doesn't seem like he's going to be doing anytime soon. He has about 15 seconds left. Sorry about this, guys. But uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is uh, if he does forfeit, then I'm going to pause and I'm going to go get some more water because I'm all out, and we will be right back. And uh, he just joined, so let's see what he clicks. Um, he does switch out. He does go out into Volcanion. That's fine. I'm going to get off a big U-turn right there. And, uh, yeah, no problem, man. Uh, so Mega Arrow is faster than even Scarf Volcanion, and he doesn't have a very good switch in to a Stone Edge. So I'm going to go into Arrow now. I'm glad he let this take damage. He's also Leftovers, which is great information, as we will just go for Edge. And uh, hopefully he switches out into something like, I don't know, uh, his own Arrow. <laughs> that would be cool. Or his Gardevoir. Like, let your Gardevoir take some damage, man. <laughs> let it happen. Good, th good news is that even if he was Scarf Gardevoir, Mega Arrow does outspeed it. He's going to go into Hitmon Lee. That's fine. Uh, either way, I can still fight. Okay, that- Wow. <laughs> Arrow. Okay. Calm down, bro. Calm down. If he goes into uh, Hydreigon, I'm going to assume that it's Scarfed, one, uh, because he specs Gardevoir and he doesn't have an item on his- um, He has leftovers on Volcanion. He's not a boosting item. He goes out into Arrow, actually. I'm going to go out into Hippo here, for sure, as he's going to Mega Evolve and go for the Stone Edge. So he played off of the Speed Tie, which I don't recommend doing, guys. Uh, even though he didn't have a great play, like Hydreigon is probably your best play in that scenario. Uh, as I will just go for my own rocks here, as he does as well, which is okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. I do have a Defogger. 
uh, for later on. But right now, I'm just going to whirlwind this thing out. He's going to go for Earthquake. That's fine. We are going to get a whirlwind off. We're going to whirlwind him into Cro Crobat. And uh, we're going to go for Whirlwind again because there's no reason not to. Uh, he's actually also not Black Sludge, so that's good to know. Let's see what he goes into here because I'm Whirlwinding again. He might think I have Stone Edge or something of the sort. He is going to let his Hydreigon take a hit. That's cool. And we're going to Whirlwind him out of the Crobat again. Now I'm going to go for Slack Off on what I think would be a Brave Bird. He's actually going to Defog, which is okay. And uh, we're going to get up our rocks again. And uh, he shouldn't want to Roost here. He should be scared. Yeah, okay, good. All right, in comes the Volcanion. Kind of scary. At the same time, I still have a Latias, so I'm just going to go into it. It's fine, as he's going to go for the Steam Eruption. It's going to do a little bit of damage. Uh, he's also going to get the Burn as a result, which is not too big of a deal. And now I'm just going to go for the Psychic, because it does also hit the Gardevoir, and hopefully it'll put it in range. It shouldn't put it in range, but it might put it in range of a Wing Attack later on. So that's what I'm playing off of here. Uh, as he actually chooses to go out into his High Dragon, good play, all right. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Uh, now let's test to see if this is, because I don't really, I kind of need Latias at the same time, I don't, uh, because Pangoro probably outspeeds his Volcanion if it's leftovers. Uh, do I really want to play around with that? It's just I fear him going for U-turn, and I really don't want to, I really don't want to keep, pr uh, like, t let Primarina in against anything. I guess it doesn't matter too much. We'll just go into Primarina as he's going to go for the U-turn. Yeah, that's what I was fearing. But he still doesn't know what kind of Primarina I am until he actually switches out into something. Uh, as he chooses to go into Crobat, which is fine. I'm just going to go back in a Hippo here as he is going to go for a Defog, which is okay. He takes some damage right there. And now what we're actually going to do is go for Earthquake as he chooses to go for Defog again. Okay, so he's choiced. Uh, so I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks now. Awesome. Okay, so his Crobat's dead. I think he's choiced. I think he's choice locked into Defog, and we're going to get our rocks back up as he chooses to go into Aerodactyl, which is fine. And uh, now what I'm going to do is, uh, once again, just Whirlwind him out. It's the best play. Even if he gets up rocks, that's fine. Uh, his Volcanion comes back in. I'm actually just going to go for EQ this time, because if he's not Specs, I don't know if his Steam Eruption actually knocks me out. Uh, it does. Okay. Good good knowledge right there. Good, good to know. Uh, we'll now go out into Latias, and uh, again, I don't think I have a reason not to click Psychic. I do need damage off on his Gardevoir. That is the most important thing right now. So we will just click Psychic right here, as this time he sacks off his Crobat. I'm expecting the High Dragon to come back in this time. Uh, maybe go for a Dragon move this time. Who knows? Uh, expecting my Scizor to want to come in, but he actually chooses to go into Arrow. Uh, he probably has Pursuit. Mm, that's not good. Alright, um, so I think Draco Meteor is my play. He's going to go for the Pursuit. It is going to knock me out because of this thing's sheer power. Uh, and now we are going to go into Scizor because I don't have another play. His Volcanion is an, a very, very obvious switch. In fact, what I'm going to want to do here is go for Pursuit as he does withdraw his Aerodactyl, and now it's in Rock's range. Fantastic. Okay, so now he's going to go out into Volcanion. That's fine. I will let this die. I am going to go for a Pursuit. Uh, but now his Aerodactyl can't come back in, so that's great. Uh, I did lose my Bullet Puncher, which is a little bit concerning, but as long as I have the combination of uh, Pangoro plus Primarina, I should be fine. Now, all I need to do is land a Stone Edge. Um, that would be fantastic if I could. Uh, he's probably going to sack off his arrow here, so what I'm actually going to do... That's really risky, though, if I do that and it fails. I'm going to go for Edge. Okay, I was going to go for Roost to keep this healthier, but it wasn't worth it, because <laughs> if he actually stayed in Steam Eruption, I just actually lost the game right there. Uh, he's going to go into High Dragon. I'm switching into Primarina no matter what, no matter what, and I need to keep Aerodactyl for his Gardevoir, absolutely, as he does choose to go for the Dark Pulse. That's fantastic. Now something is going to go down. Uh, Moonblast is probably not going to kill Volcano. Um, yeah, it will. It will. It will. I'm Specs, and this thing's special defense isn't the greatest. Yeah, it goes straight down. Awesome. Okay. So now Guard's going to come in. He's probably going to go for a Fairy move. And uh, I need to keep this solely for his High Dragon. Pangoro's not so important anymore. Uh, and then we will go into Aerodactyl and fire off a uh, Stone Edge, and hopefully it'll kill from here. I think it should. Hopefully. Keyword. Um, Tough Claws. Is Tough Claws only contact moves? Okay, so we missed the Stone Edge, so that's very unfortunate. Our Aerodactyl does go down, and uh, that's going to be a good game. Unfortunately, we do lose to a miss. Uh, I'm going to calc that real quick just to see how much Arrow actually does to Mega Guard. I think it's a knockout. Uh, Stone Edge is indeed a no Uh, It's a roll from there, but uh, yeah, it did. It really did. <laughs> 
but all good all right so let's move on to the next game it's still a super powerful team guys like you're, you're catching literally the only losses that i've had with it let me actually just cancel this i'm just gonna go get some water be right back all right and we are back and let's get another game so like i was saying um you're literally catching the only losses that i've had with this team so all right we might not lose this one i really hope we don't lose this one i'm just looking at the team and i'm like why does he have six turtles <laughs> essentially it's like six turtles um let's lead off here with primarina as he's going to lead off with his blastoise that's great i am just going to go for the moon blast it's specs moon blast not even torkoal can switch in on this it's going to do a lot of damage this is probably megastoise as well um he can't really do much to me but he does choose to stay in and just scald and that's going to do 21 percent and my moon blast is going to annihilate this blastoise it's going to take a huge hit he does not have a switch into this at all he's just going to go for another skull play off the burn he does not get it so that's awesome for us as primarina is going to do work right now primarina is going to destroy lives torterra does come in uh, i'm not too concerned about it i'm just going to now go into scissor as he chooses to go for a wood hammer that is not going to do much damage at all and uh, he's going to take some recoil we are going to go for the u-turn we are probably faster than this because it's extremely slow as he chooses to go out into his torkoal this is going to take a little hit uh this is also rocky helmet so that's good to know uh what we will now do is go into i really want to go into pangora but he might have um he might have um you know you know what i'm talking about <laughs> you might have uh will-o-wisp so i don't want to really play around with that we are just going to go into primarina since he's not a sun variant and we are going to go for a scald right here turtonator comes in on a spec scald that is going to get two hit ko'd goodbye turt and uh, everything on his team is going to take massive hits right now like he it's unavoidable um if his caracosta comes in i'm going for a skull then i'm switching out into my hippo and then switching out into he actually chooses to go into golem um this thing might be sturdy which i'm kind of worried about i'm going to go into hippo now just in case as he does go for the return that's not going to affect us okay so he's galvanized good um and he's going to forfeit so we're going to get a win there i'm going to keep going until we get three wins i think and uh, hopefully it'll be the next two games you'll pretty much know by the length of this episode unless we have like a super long game that you're not expecting but we uh we're doing okay uh as this looks like a team that mega arrow can just like destroy <laughs> absolutely an annihilate um earthquake for this stone edge stone edge wing attack um, and I don't really have anything for Flygon or Slowbro, but I do have a Primarina to deal with both decently well. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to lead off with Primarina because it it beats everything except for Jolteon. As he leads off with Chandelure. Now I'm afraid of an Energy Ball, like a lot. <laughs> Very afraid. Um, so I'm actually going to switch out into Scizor as he switches out into his Gudra. Okay, so that's fine with me. Uh, we do have a lot of speed, and he might be Assault Vested. Do I really want to risk that right now on a Fire Blast? Yeah, I want to risk it. We'll go for U-Turn. He does stay in, uh, which tells me that he's probably going for a Fire Move. And uh, we'll go out into uh, Hippo right here on his Fire Blast or Flamethrower or whatever he is. As he does throw out an Ice Beam, actually. Okay, great play. Awesome. I, I respect that a lot. Uh, we'll go into Primarina here. Hopefully he doesn't Thunderbolt. <laughs> that would be horrible, but... Uh, if he does Ice Beam, then we should be fine. We always have Scald to Thaw in case he freezes us. There's the Ice Beam again. I feel like that's Specs damage that I saw on Hippo. 57%. Let's find out. Goo draw. Choice Specs versus Hippowdon. Hippowdon, Mixed Wall. Oh, where's Ice Beam? I need Ice Beam. Ice Beam. Okay, so no, it's not Specs. Um, definitely not. Okay, we are going to switch out here into Latias in case he has the Thunderbolt as he goes through the Sludge Wave. That that too, that's always an option. Um, and I'm just going to throw out a Psychic here because we are faster than this and it hits almost everything on his team except for Absol. We are going to knock out the Gudra. I believe myself susceptible to a Pursuit Trapping from Absol, but it's okay. I should be able to deal with that. As uh, Absol does come in, I am not even going to attempt to switch out because I'm pretty sure this thing is going to Pursuit Trap me. As he does go for the pursuit there we go uh just in case like he wanted to swords dance or something like that uh, just just in case you know um now we're gonna go out into pangoro because he does not have a switch in to this at all on his team and uh we are going to go for a brain punch he might have play rough that's what i'm kind of worried about 
They don't typically carry player off, but if he's using the set from like Gen 6 UU, then he will have it. Uh, let's go for Drain. All right, cool. So he brings in Slowbro. We are going to go for a Swords Dance right here. Hopefully he doesn't burn us. Uh, he might just expect the dark move and like switch back out to his Absol or something, which would be fantastic. As uh, He's going to go for the Skull. Does he get the burn? He does not. Awesome. Okay, so this knockoff is going to destroy something his life. If it's this Slowbro, then essentially Mega Arrow just wins after that as long as his Chandelure isn't Scarfed. We are going to crit the Slowbro. I don't think that mattered. Not from a Pangoro. This thing currently has like 700 attack. So, yeah. Um, I could see either Jolteon or Chandelure coming in. Chandelure purely because it has the fire move. Flygon's actually going to come in. Is this Bandit? Flygon. Choice Band versus Pangoro. All Out Attacker. Earthquake would kill me if he wasn't Choice Banded. Then he doesn't kill me. So we're going to find out right here. I'm going to go for Drain Punch. He's going to go for U-Turn. Okay, let's see what he goes into. He might expect a knockoff and not go into Chandelure. He does go into Chandelure. Okay, so great play. I should have probably gone for a knockoff there, but it's okay. Um, what we're going to do... It's probably Scarfed with U-Turn. So I need to keep my Scizor alive. That's what that means. For sure. Um, I'm going to go for Knock. He's going to go for Shadow Ball. That's actually going to take me out. Let's find out if uh, that's Specs. Chandelure. Choice Specs. Shadow Ball. Without Specs, does he kill me? Um, I think he still does. Yes. Okay. So we don't know yet. Either way, if he's Scarfed, he doesn't outspeed Mega Arrow. So I'm just going to go into it. Unfortunately, we don't have Pursuit. But I am going to go for a Stone Edge right here. Because his only switch into Stone Edge at the moment is Flygon. We do knock out the Chandelure. That was a huge threat. Thank goodness. And uh, we do outspeed the Jolteon unless it's Scarfed. And we can Earthquake it. Um, either way on Jolteon, I wouldn't stay in. He's going to go into Flygon. I'm actually going to go hard into Primarina, I think. Well, no, because his Absol... The only thing that's stopping his Absol from sweeping me is Primarina. I'm going to go into Scizor. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a Dragon Dance. Okay, so this Bullet Punch is going to do a ton. Um, his Earthquake is probably not going to knock me out either. Let's see what he does. As he does choose to stay in, that does 50. Earthquake is almost going to knock me out, but it's not enough. And he is Life Orb as well, so that's good. If he switches out, then he loses to, to Arrow. So I don't even care if he goes into Jolteon. It's going to take a huge hit, by the way, uh, from a Banded Bullet Punch. And... Um, yeah, as you can see, it takes 33%. As I'm actually going to keep this just in case he gets up uh, another Dragon Dance with Flygon. I'm going to go into Hippo because I have no reason not to. He's probably going to HP Ice, but uh, he's going to go for the Volt Switch. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, and we will just go for the Earthquake here because I don't want his Absol coming out on rocks. Um, that would be terrible. And if it's his Flygon, I can just phase him out. He is actually Hidden Power. Uh, he's not Choiced is what I meant to say. He's Life Orb. We are going to knock that out, and I'm assuming Absol is going to come in here. Flygon could come in as well, but I can just whirlwind that out, so it's not a problem. Uh, and I can always bullet punch with Scizor as well, so we're good. We should be fine. I mean, like, the worst that can happen is if he has, like, Iron Tail and crits it on Primarina and crits my arrow with a Sucker Punch as well. I'm going to whirlwind here. Hopefully he goes for the, uh, the Dragon Dance. He goes for the Dragon Claw. Okay. All right. Um, I think either way, Scizor is my play. Because he can't switch into Absol to this right now. We're just going to go for Bullet. And then we're going to see if his Absol has uh, Sucker Punch on it. And if it does, that means it has a lower likelihood of having anything to hit Primarina. I'll just bring that in and I'll hit Moon Blast. So we'll do that. As Absol does come in, we are going to go for the Bullet. Let's see if he has the Sucker Punch, which got nerfed this gen. If he's Pursuit, I expect him to be Knockoff as well. He does have the Sucker Punch. Is he three Dark Moves plus Swords Dance? Is that what his set is? I'm assuming... Let's see what he has. He has the... Okay, yeah, he goes for Sucker Punch. There we go. All right, so Moonblast is going to finish off that game, so that's GG. And uh, we'll move on into hopefully our third win of the episode right now. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this at all. I'm going to need Pangor to put in some work, man, because this is looking scary. Oh, how am I going to beat this? Um, like, Pangor is my only setup sweeper. Alright. Well, we're gonna lead off with Scizor. 
because it doesn't have a bad matchup against anything really except for quillfish <laughs> but we are faster um i think hopefully let's go for the u-turn okay cool is he rocky helmet no good we'll go into hippo because this thing doesn't do too much damage with a water attack as uh, he goes for spikes that's fine i do have a defogger uh we're actually just gonna go for the earthquake here i'm not gonna get up rocks yet because i do want to get rid of the spike at some point because it's going to be very annoying especially to pangor if i wanted to, to live a hit from celebi i'm going to need it at full and um mandibuzz can't do too much damage to pangor with foul play that's why pangor is actually a really good setup sweeper is because of um like it, it doesn't care about foul play at all four times resists it so he's going to bring in his celebi um hmm I don't want to get a Brox yet. I'm going to go into Latias. I think that's a better play. He's going to go for a sub. Okay, this isn't good. <laughs> All right. So what we'll do here is we will break this with Draco. If he goes into Blissey, then I'll just go for a Defog. It's fine. Uh, he's sub, probably sub Nasty Plot Grass move, I would assume. And Baton Pass. That should be his set. Uh, in which case, he can't touch Scizor, so I'm not too concerned. We are going to break the sub there, as he is going to go for a Leech Seed. Okay, that's even more annoying. Um, I'm switching directly into Scizor on this. I'm not letting him get another sub up for free. And uh, we'll play from there. But this this set is super annoying. Wow. Um, we'll go into Sizz. He's going to switch out into his Type Null, which doesn't appreciate a superpower, but I know for a fact that this thing is an Eviolite user. So even though I haven't played against it yet, so I'm just going to U-turn out on his Quillfish. We're going to go out into Latias, and we are going to go for a Defog right here. Uh, get rid of this Spike, because it's extremely annoying. As he's going to go out into his Blissey, that's fine with me. I have a lot of very good uh, physical attackers, and I'm not letting you status any of them. <laughs> so I'm going into Hippo here first, as he chooses to go for a Toxic. That is fine. Uh, we will get up our Rocks here. I think that's kind of important, as he will bring in his Dawn Fan. This is probably a Rapid Spinner. Uh, what I'm going to do is take advantage of this thing and go out into Pumarina. And then we will fire off something. I don't know what yet. <laughs> but he's going to go for Stealth Rocks, actually. Okay, so that was kind of dangerous. Because now I get to get off a huge attack. And I think what I'm going to go for is probably... Um, I'm actually probably going to double into Pangoro here. Yeah, I'm going to double into Pangoro here, hopefully, hoping that he goes into Blissey. As let's see, he does choose to go out into Celebi, though. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go for a knockoff first, just to see what, it, what his initial response is. If it's Mana Buzz, then fine. He's going to sub. Okay, cool. So we're going to go for knockoff, and uh, now I'm actually going to go for a Swords Dance, I think, because he can't risk going for another sub. He's going to leave his Celebi uh, super low, like almost in range of rocks. So I am just going to go for an SD. He's going to go for Protect. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we get that turn right. And uh, now we get to go for a free knockoff on anything on his team. This is super threatening to him. He's going to go out into Quillfish. This is going to die. This is going to get destroyed. Yep, there we go. Uh, now he's in range of rocks. He can't switch anything in right now. I can freely go for a Drain Punch. I'm also faster than this thing. We'll gain back a little bit of health. Very little, but still enough. And um, with Type Null being an Eevee Light Pokemon, uh, Mandibuzz can have Brave Bird, but I don't know if he has it. I also don't know if an uninvested Mandibuzz's Brave Bird is going to knock me out. Uh, let's say it's physically defensive versus Pangoro. All-out attacker. Not with a choice band, but give me a... Am I adamant? I think I am, right? 236? No, I think I'm actually Jolly. Uh, yeah, Jolly, and I'm at plus one. My Drain Punch... That's Hammer Arm. How much is Drain Punch going to do? Drain Punch is only going to do 36. And how much does... Like, his foul play does a little bit, but how much does Brave Bird do? Ooh, Brave Bird does a lot. Um, I'm not too keen on staying in here. His Quillfish is now gone, which means Scizor is looking like a little bit more of a threat to him. Absolutely. Like, every time he U-turns, it gets up a huge amount of damage on something. I am going to go for Drain Punch. We're, we're faster than his Mandibuzz, so that's good to know. Uh, as he does have Brave Bird, but it's not going to knock me out at all. His Mandibuzz is now in range of rocks, so I can freely Drain Punch and get back a lot of my health. And now his Dawn Fan is still going to take a very big hit from me. So... Unless his Celebi actually has an attacking move, which so far I haven't seen, um, he doesn't have anything really to deal with me. 
Uh, and I'm also faster than his, uh, his type Null if it's defensive. So I'm just going to go for a Drain Punch here and get back a ton of health. We actually knock it out straight through Eviolite. That's insane. And my opponent does forfeit. So that is going to be a win for us. Uh, we are 1171. Where does that put us on the ladder? Because this ladder just actually restarted. Uh, I don't think it puts us... Oh, it does. Look at that. Uh, 1171, and I am right here, 95th. Beautiful, awesome, great progress today in the UUU tier. Um, I don't even care about OU anymore right now. We're just going to be focusing on UU and RU because they're awesome tiers. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be it for the episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. 35-minute uh, episode, a little bit longer than what I would normally like, but it's definitely worth it to show off this team. Uh, I'll leave a link to Chimp. Uh, to Chim's channel in the description. Definitely go check him out. He has some awesome. He's a great player. Uh, he has some awesome content on his channel as well. Favorite series is uh, Pokemon Jeopardy. If you get a chance to check that out, definitely do so. I'll also leave a link to the uh, to the pace bin or the uh, I don't exactly know what it is, but it's uh, the team in the description as well. If you want to use it alongside me and Chim, and that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.